So a lot of people are saying that shoulder charge is broken, that it's OP. And I understand that dying to a one-hit kill melee can be frustrating, especially if it happens after you die. A lot of times you'll shotgun someone or fusion rifle them, and they're still going to carry forward with that shoulder charge and kill you even though they are dead. Now, that is annoying, so is a fusion grenade after death, so is, uh, you know, just someone trading with you with their gun after death. But shoulder charge is a little bit different because it's, it's more personal, you know, they're right up in their face, uh, they get that shoulder charge off and it feels like a, a personal attack on you, you know? But I honestly don't think that shoulder charge as a whole is broken. You need to think about what you give up. If you are running around willy-nilly trying to shoulder charge everyone, you're not using your guns. And yeah, some of the deaths you're going to see in here are very exaggerated because I'm, you know, I'm trying to go shoulder charge 99% of the time. But shoulder charge still doesn't always work the way it's intended. Sometimes you jump over top of them with it and it doesn't hit. Or you go just past them. Yeah, the tracking can be dumb at times, but there are other times where it fucks you over. And because you sacrificed using a gun to use your shoulder charge, you are now putting yourself at a massive amount of risk. So if it doesn't work out properly, you pretty well killed yourself, and there's not a lot you can do to recover from it. Yeah, you could probably switch to a shotgun, but when something like this happens, well, you just gotta pray that you get the kill. And a lot of the times, you're not going to. You have to also remember that shoulder charge is countered by armor. A Max Armor Titan, or a Ram Warlock. If you shoulder charge them, they're not going to die. In things like Trials of Osiris, there's going to be light level differences that are going to help them tank a shoulder charge. And it's going to put you in situations where you go, give up your guns, you sprint in, you try to shoulder charge them, and they're going to live with a sliver of health. They're going to melee you and you're going to die. And it feels bad, but I think it's kind of what you deserve for try <laughs> you know, trying to get that one hit kill. If you don't read into what the enemy team is using and you're shoulder charging them anyway, I think that deserves a death right there. So while yes, shoulder charge is this big one-hit kill, and yes, it is powerful at times, for sure. People can abuse it, yes, there's no cooldown on it for the most part, they can spam it. But if you look at the positives of being able to one-hit kill, being able to spam it, the mobility it provides if you want to do a little shoulder charge around a corner just to get away, shoulder charge is pretty damn good. But you do need to sacrifice, um, you know, guns. <laughs> That's a fucking big one right there, boys. People can backpedal on you and, and shoot you before you get to them. The other thing you need to remember is you lose a lot of your um, sneaky mobility. You're not going to go side to side a lot when you're using shoulder charge. You're running in a straight line. So you are going to be a little bit more predictable. Things like that. So shoulder charge has its positives. It has its negatives. You know, f the fact that people can stack armor and completely negate it. That's pretty big. That's something you're going to have to deal with. So is shoulder charge broken? And I don't know if we land that answer yet. Because it depends on the player. Now, this is the part in the video where I'm going to start getting a few haters. Because some people are going to completely disagree with me. They're going to think I'm a dick. And I'm fine with that. Because there's going to be other people that are clapping and cheering because they're like, Yes! You are right! I completely agree with you. So just hear me out for it. Just relax. Let's talk about this objectively. If you're dying to shoulder charge four, five, six, seven times in one game, in a rumble game, in a skirmish game, it doesn't matter, you are the issue, not shoulder charge. Ooh, I can hear the hate comments coming! But I'm serious. If you continually die to shoulder charge, you are the one that's fucking up. Because shoulder charge is like a wild animal. The guys that use it aren't that bright. They're sprinting in a straight line trying to punch you in the face instead of using guns in a game that has guns in it. That's like, wor that's worse than bringing a knife to a gunfight. You're literally bringing a shoulder to a gunfight. And there are so many counters to it that if you're not countering it, you're being lazy or you just aren't learning from your mistakes. And so there's an issue right there. If you're continually dying to shoulder charge, you need to do one of the following. Get a higher armor build so that you can tank it. Google how much armor you need. Essentially, try to max out as much armor as you can, and shoulder charge won't one-hit kill you. And if that's not an option, then you better start backpedaling. And you better start backpedaling a lot sooner. If you see someone on your radar, you should be preemptively aiming towards that area. Because there's going to be a chance that the guy coming from that radar section is using a shotgun. Or a shoulder charge. Or some way of closing the gap on you and killing you. 
So right there, regardless if it's shoulder charge, regardless of what it is, if there's someone on the radar to your left, to your right, you should be starting to aim towards it. And if you've done that, you've already started countering shoulder charge. Because if you're already aiming towards the area they're coming from, well, guess what? You just put two, three, four shots into them with a last word, or a pulse rifle, or a mida, and they're either dead or they're about to be dead when they close the gap on you. Now, if you have mastered the ability of aiming your gun towards a hallway or towards the radar where someone is coming from, you're halfway there. You're halfway to countering shoulder charge. So now we're going to add in the complex, over-the-top, counterability, clickbait shit that's going to shut down shoulder charge forever. Are you ready? Walking backwards. Holy shit, this is amazing. If you are aiming towards the radar, you're looking towards that hallway where the guy's coming from, and now you walk backwards and shoot, you have countered it so hard that shoulder charge is going to feel like a Kvostov. I'm telling you, it's going to feel like shit. Because nine times out of ten, you're going to kill them flat out. There is no chance in hell they get to you. And if they do get to you magically because they're the best shoulder charge titan skating meta piece of shit in the league, well, guess what? You probably traded with them as well. Honestly, guys, it is not that difficult to shut down a shoulder charge. The people that are freaking out about it need to just fucking figure it out. I don't want to be a dick, but come on. If you're complaining about shoulder charge of all things saying it's broken, no way. And to my subscribers that do complain about it, you know... I I don't want to be a dick, I'm not trying to do it, but I'm giving you a bit of tough love, okay? I'm trying to make you open your eyes and say, okay, well, maybe I need to adjust, maybe I need to learn, right? That's what this channel is about. We're about learning, we're about improving. So if you're dying to it, you're complaining about it, look at yourself. Start watching your gameplays. How are you dying? What do you need to change to start shutting down uh, shoulder charge? Because honestly, I die to it like once or twice a week. It just doesn't happen. If you learn how to counter it, it becomes very easy to negate. Okay, guys? We can do this. I believe in you. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. That's it for me for this. I'm going to move along. Hopefully I didn't, you know, really piss anyone off. But I honestly think this video needed to be made. I wish I would have made it sooner just so people could hopefully not have ripped their hair out because of shoulder charge a little bit sooner. That's it for me, as I said before. And I'll see you soon, my friends. Bye-bye.